Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? Hope you are doing awesome, boss, and welcome back to another episode of Rage 2 Rise of the Ghost. This is episode 8. Alright, so we just thwarted a uh, Feltrite mining facility uh, of the ghosts, and uh, what's our next objective now? Don't know. Looks like we're probably just going to need, need to wander around a little bit before Keenan tells us what's up. Yep. All right. Cool. Let's go. Just do whatever's uh, whatever's nearby. There's nothing nearby. There's a uh, meteorite down there. Can I call in the uh, the flying doohickey right here? That'd be swell. Can't. Son of a biscuit. There's nothing in here. Come on. Come on, game designers. What are you doing? You got a perfect opportunity to plant secret stuff and things. Oh, by the way, guys, if this is your first time to the channel, hope you guys enjoy what you see. If you do, a thumbs up and subscription would be massively appreciated. All right, anyway, with the self-promotion out of the way, let's get on the flying chariot. And let's head on down to that, uh, that there meteorite. What do you say there, brother? What do you say there, brother? Let's do it. You know, it's almost starting to feel like the good old days of this here little station. And uh, I might have uh, actually found our next lead. <laughs> Tell me all about it, buddy. Just a bunch of metal limbs on old Keenan here. Come by, we'll take a look at it. What do you say? On my way, Keenan. Cool. All right, we got the next mission. What's down here, though? Ooh, we got some bad hombres nearby. Whoa, hey, what's up, guys? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And hello. Yikes. Keep coming, keep coming. <laughs> oh, still more. What's up there, buddy? Dude, they're everywhere. I'm talking about. I don't even need this, but let's just do it for funsies. Hey. Get it. There's a storage container nearby, it says. Probably up there? Or is it down here? Oh, there it is. Oh, this is super cool. How oh, it's all foggy around here with the sun rays beating, beating through the, uh, the fog and the clouds and all that jazz. Money! All right, cool. Let's uh, let's go fast travel back to uh, Metro Station and talk to Keenan. There's that lovely audio glitch that I love so much. Wait, have I ever talked to this person? I don't think so. Ooh, shock grenade upgrade schematic. Let's do it, baby. 
Let's do health infusions, because those are very handy dandy nowadays. When, I, when I'm playing on uh, Ultra Nightmare, that is. Thanks a bunch. Hey, you See are you, soon. you are super welcome. Ever been to the cathedral? There's a lot more people here now. If you're looking for Keenan, he's in the train Ooh, wagon. Ooh, this place is booming now, baby. What do you need? I hate to ask, but my cousin, he took his crew out for a supply run to the hollows. Thing is, them being the numbskulls that they are, the last I heard from them, they seem to have gotten caught by ghosts. Please, Ranger, save them. Unless they're already... I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No problem. This place is popping, dude. They're making some upgrades. You look like a prop. I'm sure you've seen the crow's nests out there. You know, those ghost bridges that make life on the road a whole lot less safe. Well, see, if you manage to free up this particular one, I'd be real happy. Because we got to use that road for hauling supplies sometimes. And like I said, you look like a problem solver. Consider it done. Oh, fantastic. I knew my eyes wouldn't deceive me. Kill. Oh, see, I don't think I've come across any of these yet. So it's like a crow's nest on top of a broken overpass bridge. Pretty neato. Oh, and this place is open now. The old staff. All staff can and will provide you with the ammo needed. My, my, a ranger. Oh, it's a pleasure. I'm staff, and let me tell you, you've come to the right place. Nice. Hey, weapon core mod, baby. Nice, he's got ammo for pretty much everything. Whenever you All right, let's go ahead and upgrade the old Feltrat laser launcher all the way now, baby. Oh, we need two more. Crap. What am I doing? Hey, Ranger. Whatever firepower you need, Oh, I need one more. Hey, Son of a... Back to staffs when you need a refill now, here. All right, buddy. It should be cleared out now. Oh, wonderful news, Ranger. I'll wait for the dust to settle, and then I'll go over there. Thank you. Really. Ain't no problem. Nieta? I got intel. I don't this think you do. I've got. Got you, don't get, you got nothing. Got nothing. You come here from a trading post? Nah. Had my own place south of here. Had to flee when it fell I could talk to her again? Is up and running again. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So that got a dash. Real? So, real, uh, all right. I heard, heard that you actually kicked some ass over there. Until I was running Mad for respect. My life. I guess you win our most little rivalry. For no. people who I still to have no idea what you want from me. <laughs> yeah, crazy. yeah, you get to be big it's talk for now, morning, right? Enough. No need to rub it in, pal. Hmm. Cool. Hey, buddy. Okay, uh, getting right to it. The ghosts are building rockets. Rockets? Oh. <laughs> I know, right? Guaranteed bad news. I, uh, decrypted blueprints of their cathedral. <clears throat> the old factory on that peak of theirs. Now, there's apparently an old rocket fuel depot underneath it. Now, I know it's a lot to ask, but I'll call you when I'm there. <laughs> oh, I knew I could rely on you. Oh, whoa, 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 one more thing. I prepared a, uh... A doohickey. Uh, no matter the security level, you just plug that little bastard into anything, and I'll control it. All remote-like. Who? Take it with you before <laughs> you go. <laughs> Alright, where is it? Oh, it's right here. The little doohickey. Alright, we gotta go to the church where they're uh, staging some rockets at, I guess. Right on. Right on. Yeah, this place is popping now, and that explains why I, I didn't see this person before, because they weren't ever here before. Alright, right on. I'm not as blind as I thought. <laughs> Alright, how far away is this place? Oh, way down there. Hot dog! Alright, where's the uh, Icarus? I think it's up here, right? Yep, there we go. Whoa, baby, whoa, whoa! Oh! Is 
It's a big old mountain, baby. Woo! I can't go in from the ceiling, can I? Because that would be amazing. Aw, oh, that's so lame. That'd be so great. Well, that looks weird in there. Let's check it out. Uh, okay. This is very creepy. Yep, 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 yep. These, uh, <laughs> this is their most sacred grounds. Now, according to the blueprints, there's supposed to be uh, an elevator somewhere on that floor. Locate the rocket fuel production. All right. Gotcha. Ooh, data pad. Automated medical analysis, ranger armor medical scan, fragments of shrapnel and glass under skin, multiple skeletal fracture, soft tissue injury, left side pneumothorax, lung artificially sustained, high numbers of abnormal white blood cells, feltrite blood poisoning, foreign objects in bones, 412 more, oh my god, automated assessment, in urgent need of treatment, nanotrite distribution 100%. Man, whoever, whoever that was got messed up. Data entry number 161, I feel lost. The council would not listen to me, unsurprisingly perhaps, but all the more disheartening. Why can't they see the benefits? If all Arcus were allowed infusion of nanotrites, this war would be won in days. If Jane could have had infusions, she might still. Oh, I guess she died. Their rule of purity is one of superstition, madness, and elitism. How will we endure this wasteland and the onslaught of change if we refuse to change ourselves? My squadron has agreed nonetheless with their help. I will guide us to victory and the council will have to see they will have to. Alright, this was all because someone's daughter or wife or something died? Take that. Alright, let's go down the elevator, shall we? It says this is another data pad. Is there one up here or is it below? Probably below. Alright, let's go down. Or it's up there and I missed it. Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. Keenan? I, I descrambled more files and oh boy. She's planning to load rockets with refined feltrite and have them detonate in the air. Where the hell would she want to do that? Feltrite, raining down like that. I mean, will that kill every last living thing out there? Unless they were transfused with nanotrites. Son of a biscuit, flipping genocide. Gotta love it. Big boo. What are you doing up there? Here, here, let me help you out. <laughs> Oops, did not mean to do that. Bunch of guys above. So if I'm reading this correctly, you're gonna want to find a control room. Come. Come 
Suck it. <laughs> They're all gonna get ran over. Ugh. Grody. That's pretty neat. That was a close one. That was a lot of guys. There you go. Whoa! I was trying to grab him, but it wasn't really working. I feel like so far I'm doing pretty good considering it's it's uh, Ultra Nightmare. And I'm goofing around with his gun. <laughs> oh, data pad. Data entry 453, I am trapped within the confines of my ranger armor. Before intending to sacrifice me, the ghost infused my armor with feltrite, and it seems I'm having a hard time breathing without it. No matter. Soon everyone will have to adapt to the feltrite shimmer in the air. Psychopaths. What am I doing? You could just do this. That was glass. Enough. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Hey, but at least the fuel is gone. data pads to read now that now that everybody's dead. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Uh what happened to the 
door? The door, like... Well, the door's here, but the doorway is literally gone. <laughs> what? What? Alright, that's weird. Alright, anyway, data entry 469. Work has begun. The blood throne stands beautifully and will bring new life to the ghosts in the same way which they have done to me. Their tolerance towards feltrites seem to make them susceptible to the nanotrites within my blood. Uh, I grow weak every time I share my gifts, yet the reward is immense. My dear ghosts will get to taste the life I have, and in time all people shall share my gifts. None shall perish needlessly when they understand that I can save them. No one will ever share your fate, my child. What a flippin' psycho. And there's another data pad in here, right? Data entry 738. News have reached me of Violin's fall. Despite dreaming of this day for so long, I am struck with sorrow. It was a bastion of hope and potential after all, and it is where I would place my throne, were they to understand one day. Uh, the rangers are no more except for one walker. This walker, despite heritage, apparently did not choose to be a ranger until the authority resurfaced. Intriguing. Well, it's because they wouldn't let me, man. I wasn't ready. Wasn't ready. Where's that other data pad at that I missed? Is it down here or is it up top? It says I'm really close to it. it says I'm like right on top of it. Oh, there it is. Uh, 401. Despite leaving for battle tomorrow, my squadron has been considered unfit for combat. They say my men have been acting erratic. Lies and fear. Fear of evolution, of a brighter future for us all. I am ordered to still go and will be court-martialed upon returning. Fools. Oh, there's another one? There's another data pad. There's so many. Oh, yeah, right there. 421, I awoke, tied up and bloodied with eyes fixated on me. They were scrawny, weak, and a shadow of their former selves, but I recognized the ghost faction for what they were. I'm unsure of how they found my lifeless body on the battlefield and why they chose me for their sacrificial rite, but they quickly sung another tune after I crushed the head of one using Shatter. They instantly considered me holy, immortal, the dead one, they affectionately called me. Ah, oh, it's all coming together. So she was uh, going to be court-martialed. She got attacked left for dead and then some uh, some crazy peeps found her and uh considered her a god basically that's why they whoa that's why they call her call her the dead one so wait where's this uh where's this other data pad at oh i never even came in here Alright, 445. Uh, the ghosts fled the war, somehow making it across the toxic sea to the island. It's small and brimming with new life. My abilities feel enhanced, as if a mist of feltrite rests in the air. I feel different. And the ghosts might actually turn out to be useful. The fools in Vineland may have helped win the war, uh, but have become fully recluse, barely communicating with the outside world anymore. Fitting of their nature, they will regret their choices when we show them what they could have become. Alrighty. All right, the story makes the story's uh, starting to make sense. It's starting to come together. Nice hyper slugs, beautiful. Now let's blow this popsicle stand. plans now. It doesn't have to be this way, Iris. You can still stop this. What you're trying to do, 
is insane. We all walk the path we must. It's a shame that yours is now a conflicting one, and that you linger in the dark. But fear not. I will relieve you of it! Want some of this, baby? Let's do it. And peekaboo. my own shield, you joik. <laughs> what you got? Yeah, she's easy, dude. She uh, she got away. That was an easy fight. Ain't no thing. Yeah, there was a data pad up here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> 85. Her grip is weakening. She still smiles. My child, my dearest Jane. Her illness would be swiftly taken care of by nanotrites if she were just born the same as me. I would surrender my abilities in an instant if it meant she would live. Wise beyond her years, she asks me to focus on the war efforts to make sure Violin remains even though she won't. But what good is Violin without her? Oh, uh, yeah, it sounds like Iris' daughter died, so that's why she's all pissed. She's gone. My Jane is gone. It drove her to madness to hate Vineland, to hate the Rangers. It all makes sense. <laughs> ah, cool beans. You forget yourself. You forget to what you owe your survival. I seem to be surviving just fine, Iris. Of course. But while you were... Who was protecting your new friend and that little flock of his? Iris, what did you do? Walker! There she is. We're gonna hook him back. Bye, time! We need to hear real magic. Do you hear me? I don't stand in real spell! Keenan? Keenan! I'm coming, Keenan. I'm on my way. I'm on my way in the next episode. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. This was a pretty cool one. Honestly, I am thoroughly enjoying this uh, this DLC way more than the actual main campaign. It's a lot more interesting for whatever reason. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. As always, if you did, a thumbs up and subscription would be absolutely incredible. And I will see you fine folks in the next one.